This segment of Delmarva Life is brought to you by Benvenuto Restaurant in Milford. We have made our way to the Delmarva Life kitchen for the culinary portion of the Milford Micro Gala at Benvenuto. And yes, Chef Jesus Gordiani is on the case. <laughs> Love you didn't it. know about that. She, she yeah. did teach you, but she did not know. <laughs> the singing about that. chef. I love it. I love mm -hmm. it. <laughs> what are we making? Really? So, what we're going to do is we're going to show you guys two dishes today that we're going to be featuring on this amazing night. Mm -hmm. The first one here is called a risotto a Giuseppe Fretti. A la Giuseppe Fretti. Do you know who Giuseppe Oh, Fretti of course. Is? He was one of the world's greatest composers who was also an amazing chef. See that? You didn't I mean, know that, you didn't you? know that? Uh, Everybody knows mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, a lo and a lot of chefs over the years have dedicated dishes to this famous composer. It's amazing. Uh -huh. So we are going to be featuring one of his dishes here. Now, I want to show you guys how to make this, and it's so easy. So we're going to start with a little olive oil. Uh -huh. Okay, we have here some prosciutto. Prosciutto. Okay, and you know we're cooking here. See that? Can we <laughs> hear that? <laughs> All right. So some prosciutto. Okay. Now, one of the things that we do at the restaurant is our mise en place, right? We get mm -hmm. a lot of these ingredients pretty much set up, all right? Because no one wants to wait around for two hours for their dinner, all right? So, our onions are caramelized. Our prosciutto has been julienne, all right? Mise en place. The smell of vision, all right? Is that yeah, what yeah. <laughs> we have here some mushrooms. Mushrooms. All right, yeah. some local mushrooms for us, okay? We also have here house roasted San Marzano tomatoes. Ooh. All right. We get these in the pool. All right. <laughs> now, one of my favorite things is this asparagus here. We're going to add some asparagus. Okay. See how beautiful those it colors is beautiful. look? The it colors almost, are coming yes, together really nice. It looks like Italy. I start saying red green. Like yeah. Yeah. It does. It does. All right. Now, what we do is, and you want to do this at home as well, is we have what's called a triple reduction when we okay. make risotto, which you keep adding liquid to it so it's cooked. We take this about 75 to 80% of the way through. Therefore, when you guys are in and ordering your risotto, all right, it doesn't take hours for it to cook, okay? You so think of everything. We have to, you know, because look, you know, we have to be awesome, but, you know, we have to be efficient as well, mm -hmm. all right? So, now that we have all these flavors in here kind of marrying each other, we're going to add a little bit of stock. So we use regular stock in this, okay? We're also going to switch over here, and this is a beef stock. Okay. Traditionally, you don't really see these, all right? But this is the way this dish is made, all right? You see everything sort of simmering down. Oh, okay, <laughs> and the smells are amazing, all right? We need some salt and pepper. Okay. And again, you know, these things are built for, these recipes are built for speed and efficiency. So we're gonna just turn this up a teeny bit. Because you like to cook hot. Yes, you have to. You have to cook hot to look hot. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. You like that one over there, audience? Yeah. That was good, right? Yeah. You like that? So I like that. That was pretty good. That one. You have to cook hot to look hot. <laughs> and that's what I do every single day. We're gonna Ooh. start putting that under your name. Please do. I would love that. All right, so now, you see how this risotto is coming together? It is. And you just want to sort of stir this, all right? You don't want to do a whole lot to it. All right, salt, pepper, all right? And then one of the things that I like to do to finish this risotto, you see how fast that is? Mm -hmm. It really is very fast. What we do then is we just add a little bit of heavy cream. Okay. That's going to thicken yes. up nice, isn't it? Yes, it is. We're going to add a knob of butter. Of okay. course. All right. I don't know who called it a knob. But that's what it's called. That's the called. first time I've ever heard that, but yeah. okay. Right? And then what kind, this is uh, This is a Parmigiano. Parmigiano? Reggiano. Reggiano. See that? Love we're it. We're putting this in nice and fresh, and this is also going to help to flavor it and thicken it. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, we're getting the... Uh, yes, we're going to plate this up. We're going to plate right? it up? We're okay. plate this up. All right. So, now that we have... See how beautiful that's come together? My goodness. All right. Mm. Now, what we're going to do is... We are going to plate this up right, so you chef. guys can see what it looks like. I can hate we take to a little ask you break? this question. Can we, do the, can we plate during the break? I think we can plate during the break. Okay. And then All we right. come back, we're going to taste it. So this is what you missed during the break. That is uh, Chef Zeus plating our mm -hmm. delicious mm -hmm. risotto. And, and here we have it right here oh. all done i'm gonna turn is it okay if i oh turn these goodness, around please. for everyone to see how gorgeous this is art right here yeah it, this no, is this really art. Is. it really is this all is right. one of the of five courses ben menudo is doing 
yes, at the micro is. gala. Yes, it is. This is one of them. That risotto is spot on. Okay. So now we're going to turn our attention to this next dish here, and this is our scallops a la puttanesca. Okay, so. What's a puttanesca? You have to Google that, all right? So we're going <laughs> to start, sorry. Sorry. We're gonna start with a little bit of olive oil There's only here. so much education we can share and with don't you. Don't ask exactly. Jimmy what a puttanesca no is. All right? He has no clue. No, all know. right? We're going to start with some anchovies. Me anchovies? I don't like anchovies, but it's great in this, I'm telling you. OK. All right? Lots of garlic. All right? I have a like, lot of garlic. Yes, and we leave these anchovies whole. A lot of guys tend to chop them up. I like to see them in there, is okay. it, all right? And it just, it just has a really nice flavor. It really does. If you get a pop of one of those, it's so good. All right, then we are going to add some Calabrian chili peppers. Uh -huh. These are going to provide a nice little heat. You okay. see the color on this garlic? Mm -hmm. We're going to now add our olives. And oh. that's a blend. There's some Castle Vetranos in here, have a really nice brininess to them, mm -hmm. and some Kalamatas. If you guys could smell this at home. <laughs> I'm, all right. I'm surprised, I'd be surprised if you couldn't smell it's it. It's so home. good. Sure. All right. Capers. Capers. Okay. Love capers. We're going to add a little bit of white wine. Mm. Now, cool thing we do at the restaurant, we reduce this white wine. It's already reduced, it's been oh. burned off, so okay. there's no alcohol in that. That's good. All right. We are now going to add our pasta to this. All right. I'm using some fresh linguine. Mm. Okay, and we're going to heat that up in that sauce, okay? So we're going to fire up the heat a little bit here. All right, now okay. check this out. Our scallops. We have some oh, beautiful, talk about scallops, please. beautiful diver scallops here. Yes. And, and you've gonna, already scored them? Yes, I have. All right, these are clean, ready to go. All right, these are absolutely amazing. And what we're going to do is we're going to just sear these off. These what did are, you just put on there? So this is our 50-50 blend that we use at the restaurant. Mm -hmm. I just and want to show these off real quick yes, before you. please. You thought I was taking them, didn't you? I did. <laughs> no, I didn't. I was just going to take over. Oh, that looks All right. so good. Yes. All right. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. All right. No, you're fine. And we are now going to add these scallops to this pan. And these cook very quickly. And that's the sound you want to hear, OK? <laughs> if you don't hear that sound, then you're boiling your scallops. All Ooh, right? Nobody wants a boiled scallop. Nobody scallops. wants a boiled scallop, OK? And you're going to see just how quickly these guys cook. All right. I think we've had this conversation before, but I love scallops. Yes, they are amazing. Fresh scallops are amazing. Hands I down, my favorite, my favorite seafood. Mine to too. Eat. It really is. All right. Now, this here comes together very quickly, as you can see. All right. Mm -hmm. And you can try that at home. All right. <laughs> We're also going to add some tomato to this. All right, because what's a puttanesca without tomatoes? All right. And one oh. of the other things I like to do as well is I like to finish this with some fresh basil. Ooh. All right. And we can do a chiffonade, which are just fancy little strands. I like to tear my basil. All right. Just I like my guests just to get a nice big pop of basil. Is that okay. a better flavor? I believe so. I believe so. But then again, I mean, everybody kind of does things, you know, their own way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We are then going to season this with a little bit of salt. Fresh salt. Mm. Not a whole lot because remember your olives and your capers already have a natural salt. Sure. In right, right. How are, how are our scallops doing? Yep, there? our scallops are doing good. We are about to flip those. All right, now watch how easy this is. All right, you're going to say, wow, look at that color. We're just going to lean in here. See that? Oh my oh. goodness. It's like magic. I thought all he right. was going to flip them all I, at I, once. Oh, no. I could do that probably. Probably. probably could, yeah. No, probably about it. You could do that. We'd probably need about 10 takes, but yeah, we could certainly <laughs> do it. All right. Now, our scallops are literally going to be finished in a matter of minutes. All okay. right. Now, while we're waiting for the scallops, we're going to turn our attention again over here. All mm -hmm. right. And you see how everything's nicely coated? Okay. That's kind of what we're looking for. All right. I'm going to do just a little test here. Make sure I don't <laughs> burn you guys out. During the break, he wouldn't Ooh. let us test it unless he did first because oh he wasn't going to give yeah. us something. That is so good. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to remove these scallops just like this. So you All don't right? overdo them. Exactly. Okay. And what's happening is these scallops are carrying over right now. Thank you. Okay. So, Jimmy, what I need is those plates. Okay. All right. We're going to bring those plates over here. All right. We'll just do two of those. Trust me with the plates. Good. Mm -hmm. Our pasta is done. And the last thing we're going to do is a little bit of dried oregano, thyme, and rosemary. Now, to plate this guy up, ready? We're going to take this fork here, all right? Just do a little twirl. Oh. See this little twirl that we're doing here? Mm -hmm. All right, you twirl this pasta up, and you just bring it over to your bowl, Jimmy. Look at that, all right? And you have this beautiful little nest. See how cool that I was? I like that, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then 
we're going to bring this over here. Is, gonna... is, it, is it rude to cut your pasta? No, not at all. It's not Look, fast. it's your pasta. Do whatever you I like. I do what I want. I pay for right? this pasta. That's right. That's right. All right. We're going to bring some more pasta over here. Right. Let's turn off Okay. Off. And we're going to just nestle that right in there. Right. And of course, where's the star of the show? Right. The scallops. The scallops. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to put this aside. I just want to get a little bit more of this sauce in here. Everyone's right? singing today. Yeah, a little bit of sauce. <laughs> so now we're going to clean our plates off a little bit here. Make them pretty. All right. And we're going to reach over here. And grab one of our beautiful it's a lot. scallops here. Oh, oh, I'm oh, sorry. That's okay. And we're just going to nestle that scallop right on top like such. And again, beautiful yeah. micros that we have here from Mr. Patrick Helmick that are going to just top this off. And there you have it. A beautiful seared scallop a la puttanesca. You got to try that. I want to step okay, over here. So what we're going to do, mm -hmm. we're actually going to take a break, uh -oh. let this cool down a little bit, come back, yeah. taste it, and say goodbye. All right, sure. can we do like a, a like a high C or something before we go on? No. Okay, no high C. No marble ice. Oh. That was good. <laughs>